Now there's protein. So protein is the macronutrient of the moment. Everybody's really excited about protein. And the reason that they're excited about protein is because of new data that shows that muscle loss leads to metabolic syndrome, declining health, and early death. No question, sarcopenia is a bad guy in the story. And as we said, aging is a driver of sarcopenia. And without question, protein is necessary to mitigate that risk. But it's not just protein, it's protein plus exercise. You cannot turn protein into muscle unless you exercise as well. So what if you just consume protein? That's all. And the answer is protein will lower the glucose rise. One reason it will lower the glucose rise is because protein is mixed in all the other food, and so it presents a competitor to glucose absorption, so it keeps the glucose in the lumen longer because of the gamish of the uh, various nutrients within the, uh, uh, within the chyme, within the, the, the digested food, as opposed to, say, a soft drink where it gets uh, absorbed super easy and super rapidly. So it will keep the glucose rise down for that reason, but it'll also keep the glucose rise down for a different reason, which is maybe not so good. So protein, as you may know, have 20 amino acids that compose the different proteins that we consume. Nine of those amino acids are called essential amino acids. You have to consume them, your body can't make them. And you have to get those nine essential amino acids. One of those amino acids that's essential is called leucine. Leucine is very high in milk, and it's very high in corn. And leucine, of all the other amino acids, is the one that goes to the beta cell and stimulates insulin by itself without glucose. So we always talk about glucose being the stimulus to insulin release. Yes, but leucine is a stimulator of insulin release as well. So when you consume high doses of leucine in the form of corn-fed beef, chicken, and fish, or in the form of milk, you will generate a greater insulin response, which will keep your glucose spike lower because after all, insulin's clearing glucose from the circulation. So that sounds like a good thing, but as we've talked about, that insulin rise is part of the problem because it's driving growth when you want burning. And so in a sense, it's making your cell be dyssynchronous with the food load that it is uh, uh, dealing with. So while keeping the glucose down is essential and the whole reason for wearing a CGM, the goal is to keep the insulin down. And leucine makes the insulin go up.